An emergency general assembly of Pan Nigeria, Niger Delta Forum Pandev has held virtually on Monday. The national chairman of Pandev is Senator Emmanuel Ibok Asien. The meeting extensively discussed a bill cited as Constitution Alteration Bill 2021. Part of the resolution is that the principle of the let me take that again. The Pan Niger Delta Forum Pandev has demanded for an upward review of their 13% derivation to 50%. This was part of the resolutions at an emergency general meeting held virtually. They also agreed that the people of Niger Delta will no longer tolerate further economic emasculation. Pandev implored. President Muhammadu Buhari and the National Assembly to focus attention on addressing the fundamental issues confronting the country. Uh, well, I'm being joined now by Mr. Ken Robinson, a National Publicity Secretary of Pandev, is joining me on phone call. Mr. Ken? We take you back to the story where Pandev is demanding a 50% derivation, and this was part of the resolution of, as in, of an emergency general assembly held virtually today. They also agreed that the people of the Niger Delta will no longer tolerate further emasculation. I am being joined now by Mr. Ken Robinson, is the National Publicity Secretary of Pan Niger Delta Forum. Mr. Ken Robinson, are you with us now on call? Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for joining us and tonight. Good evening, uh, Nigerians and viewers all over the world. Thank you for joining us tonight, Mr. Robinson. The first question I'm throwing to you is that the union, PANDEF, is asking for an upward review of the 13% derivation to 50%. Would you mind telling us how achievable this is? Let, let us not forget, or let us rather remind ourselves that that's what it used to be. Uh, at independence, even before independence, the 1960 constitution, the 1963 constitution, accommodated 50% derivation principle. When cocoa and granite and coal and palm oil in the East 50% derivation was what the country uh, operated. When oil was discovered in a library by us at least, uh, we found ourselves that the derivation principle was suppressed. Decree 51 of 1969 took away the right of the people of Niger Delta to benefit maximally from the resources that God has blessed them with. And since then to date, the Nigerian state has been plundering the resources of Niger Delta people without any cosmetic uh, benefits to the people of the Niger Delta. So, so that's what informed the decision of today. And it's not just a decision of today. We only respected a decision and a demand of the people of the Niger Delta. Don't forget that the governors also made that demand a few days ago when the Revenue Allocation and Mobilization Committee or Commission uh, had public hearing. Okay, let me, let me let me take you let me take you to, to, to the point um, uh, of, of the region, you know, suffering oil spills over the year <laughs> over the years, and there's been promise upon promise by various government. To, to clean up the region. Of course, considering the health implications of residents of all of these places that are, are suffering all spillage, what exactly do you think would be happening to the region in, in no time soon? Would there be a solution eventually, especially with this new upward uh, review that you're calling for? All that the Niger Delta people want is what this country used to be. The, the, in the north, with the, with the 50 percent derivation, they were able to establish institutions and, and provided massive scholarship, educational scholarship to, to their people. 
The same thing happened in the West. And, and now it advanced its people because of innovation and the money and the resources that they, are, that they are having. But when it came to the turn of oil, don't forget at some point it was zero derivation. And then sometimes it became one percent, and then it was three percent, and and it is now thirteen percent by reason of the, the 1999 constitution as amended. Now there is, there is a vexatious attempt that some persons, 59 northern members of the House of Reps, are sponsoring a bill to delete section 162, subsection 2 that deals with derivation principles from the 1999 constitution as amended. The people of the Niger Delta consider that a legislative coup against the oil and gas producing states and regions of Nigeria. And we are saying that any attempt to go ahead with that bill is a call to anarchy. Now what can, let me uh, thank you so much so far, but what's your assessment of the performance of the Ministry of the Niger Delta? You know, if PANDEF is now demanding uh, upward review of the 13% derivation, looking at the earth implication and other things that the region has been, you know, clamoring for, what exactly would you say that the Niger Delta Ministry has been doing in that region? The Niger Delta Ministry, uh, the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, as we call it, and the NDDC and all the intervention agencies are under the control of the Nigerian state. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria appoints the minister, assigns public secretaries to the ministry, and the staff of those ministries are people from all parts of Nigeria. So how those ministries perform, what they do, is, is not entirely an issue or within the, the, the powers of the Niger Delta people to determine or control. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria holds that authority. So if those ministries and agencies fail, it's the President of Nigeria that has failed the people of Niger Delta. Thank you so much, Mr. Kenyon. That's, that's our position. Thank you. We'll cut you at this point. Thank you so much for joining us on tonight's news and thank you for also telling us more about this demand. That's Mr. Ken Robinson, the Public City Secretary of Panda. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.